Unloading the video. Unloading the video. Unloading the car. And here's where it kind of gets iffity. My front wheel's locked up. So like I say, my mechanic and his two little daughters, this sad, they're staying here in this trailer. I think they're there. They might have already left in the morning. It's only seven o'clock or so. That's how shit gets everywhere in this place. Cleaning up stuff. Dumping stuff out. End up with all kinds of trash. That little thing hit. Oh, not hard though. I guess. I could just leave it right here. Well, I'm gonna have to get it a little bit. <laughs> He's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, oh yeah. That thing lasts about, a little safety guard lasts about one time. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Why do these fuckers last one time? Single use. <laughs> we'll talk to you. Well, I got my winch all the way unrolled. I loaded it halfway under strain. But it had a cross in it I didn't like. So, I unrolled it just to get it rolled up right to where I didn't kink it. And then I'll have to do the rest later. Under load again. There's another kink. Not the same as the last one though. That one doesn't stay. And you right about did it. Oh no 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 no. Wrong way? No, no, no. no. Yeah. So, um, how do you want to do? What do you want to do? Nothing. I'm just going to put it down. Hello. Hi. How are you? Can we push this back a little bit, Nate? I was going to pull this. Well, I can push it back with people here now. It yeah, won't. Let's do it. Just don't push on that corner with the crack. Okay. Come on. Let's so push. Louder. Push. So louder. <clears throat> Careful. Mm -hmm. Just all the That's way. Good. All the way? That's good. Okay. Yeah, solar. Did the little jack in the room work pretty good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, only, it only goes like 45. It only goes 45. Slow. I just rebuilt the motor. I'm gonna put it on the internet for more, but I'd take like 2,800. Nobody has one. Don't your little jack stand have one? Have one what? The Turner thing? Your little jack, jack em up thing? You no, it gotta... doesn't fit the same. Oh. Okay, so. Um. I, I can't use this trailer to do what I need. I've got to have that other trailer. So, I'm going to stick it at Folex. I, it's the only place. So, should we take the battery? I'm taking the battery. But we got to get somebody to tack weld this thing. Where? Again. 
I might be able to get him to do it. I don't know if I can in the amount of time we got left. Tack weld what, these nuts or something? This uh, is cast iron. Right, you can tack weld the bolts underneath. Oh, down here. Just put a little on it. I got a welder, I just don't have no... My juice is all gone, my stuff. Okay, so what have you got? You don't really need... I'll bring this thing back to you. I might need it tomorrow, though, too. The truck. And I'm going to use the other trailer. But, I mean, if you've got something to drive, your truck's fine. Where it's at. Yeah, I've got my Altima or whatever. So I just take this in my car, change trailers, bring this back with the truck after Tuesday. That's a muy bien battery. Mm -hmm. Mucho dinero. Let's put it inside, huh? You want it in the back of your truck? No. You're not going to use it? No. Yeah, put it in the barn there. Okay. Okay. Please. Look at this right here. You see that? Mm -hmm. Because of that, I got it for $60. Oh. And this is $350 battery. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that little scuff. It ain't never moving off here. Do you want this in your truck? I've been leaving it in the back for the... That locks up on you. What locks up? If that what? locks up. What, that thing? Yeah. No, I'm just gonna park this sucker and get the You know, maybe it don't go up because you never go anywhere with it empty that far. Like when you drive, I got to... That's good. Okay. Thank you. That one is good or we're going to leave it. Hopefully nobody steals the, the copper. Yeah. Well, that one is a good. Well, yeah. But it's only going to be there two days. Okay. You going to take it? Yeah. I can take the... I can take the wires pretty easy. I only have to undo three bolts. Should it be taken or what? You think it's safe? Because this I can just take off. Yeah, and, uh, take and the Polex? Okay, let's take in the Polex. We're going to leave yeah, this in Polex. Is there a problem with the Alambres? The girl is not, not there. So it's now right the homeless now. people. Yeah, yeah. Where's your wrench? Leave it. You want me to leave it? No, 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 no. Take it off. Take it off? Okay. I'll go get a wrench. I'll be right back. Are you going to remember which one goes where? Take a picture? No, it's... Do you remember, huh? Well, huh? Yeah. Dang. Red's positive, black's yeah. negative, and yellow's. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty easy there. You need one of these. I see that. It's pretty cute. It fits in metric, and you don't have to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to change it. It fits metric, and you gotta get this thing in there right, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, metric and domestic. So like a quarter inch is the same as like eight millimeter or whatever. I guess we take the last one too. May as well. Oh yeah, that's bigger I think. No. I pull something there. Well wait, un okay. momento por favor. We got un mas for run. And that will see. Thank you, Refugio. Yeah, that one's probably about two dollars, three dollars for them. Oh, and, and the storage is more. Yeah. More? Is it more? What do they get? Yeah, and, uh, for sale, there's nothing. It's not paying nothing. Not paying nothing, huh? Yeah. But uh, which one? This one? No. I won't sell that one. No. Uh, maybe in a. Well, how's it going? No, I'll you, have to Google it. You show your again. Can I do it for you? A Hector is the mechanic. Yeah. And C Row sent me over well, to talk to Hector, producing some work. Uh, um, he moved out yesterday. No, uh, he's suicide. moved out. I think it's 258. Yeah, he's moved. I don't think so. Um, I can give him your number. Yeah. Okay, I guess uh, C Row wasn't aware of that. What's um? He described where he was at. Yeah. Yeah, he was right in there. I'll be darned. Okay. What's your number? My number. Well, you want me to give it to him or what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it cool? What's up? What is it? Uh, 
2506. And what's your name, yeah. sir? Sid. Sid. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give him your name. He's a good guy. He just had to move in the past few days here. Oh, okay. His place. He was right in there. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Cool. Of course. I'll let him know. What do you got? Is a mechanical work, well, right? Well, it's an oil leak. It's, it looks like a rear seal. 97 Explorer. Yeah. Six, you know. Well. I haven't looked at it personally myself. Under there, but yeah. You know, it's getting obvious. Cool. It's leaking a lot right there. I will let him know and well, um, have him give you a ring, Sid. Okay, what's your name? We'll Nathan. Nathan? Yeah. Yep. 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 Nice to meet you. Take, you, you too. I'll see you later. And have fun. All right. And we'll work it out. We'll make it work one way or another. I, I appreciate it. Okay, Bill. Thanks. Well, I gotta go get that other trailer. Okay. What do you got in the truck? <laughs> I would just take a look. I got my. I got it. Out of we're going to use the open trailer, though. I remember that word. You ever glow this thing any, or you just start it up and yeah, fuck it? it over. That's okay. I didn't throw your bottles out. Uh, what now? I kept your bottles for you. Now you got the seat all jacked up. I don't know. Looking good. Goodbye. Truck and trailer for a while. Okay. You guys been coming here for years. For years, I tell ya. I wanted to know. Yeah, he might. I don't think he is. Let's check. I don't know. What? Right, let's check. Hey, Hector. He's gotta be gone by now. He'd be back though, maybe. So, hey, Hector. Yeah. But him and his little girls are staying here. I don't know, maybe for a couple days or something, but they don't have nowhere to go. And like, they couldn't find, he only had a week and a half or two weeks to find a place. So like, whatever, just if they come back, let me know. Cause I don't, he seems to keep track of them, but he, they scare me, dude. He's sitting there drilling holes in this shit and the little kid's sitting right beside it. It's fucking metal shards are going, you know, I'm keeping on going like this. I just don't want things like, I want it to be a little more safer. Yeah. But I wanted to have a place to stay too, cause it's a sad situation. And he's a nice guy. It's kind of up. really fucked up. And like, see, he had no, he spent, he spent $5,000 set up for smog because she has registration and she's in a fight with the guy over there because he is a smog shop and so he started doing registration and so now she's, he's biting it on her. So she's like, okay, well we have to do smog. So she told him, if you want to stay here, you have to do smog. Mm -hmm. So he's okay. So he spent five grand and he set it all up and he got all the licenses in the state. And then... <laughs> He wasn't getting enough smog, so he went and talked to her, and he goes, I'm not doing She goes, oh yeah, I'm sending them over to such and such. He goes, what? He goes, why are you sending them over to such and such? And she goes, well, your guy over there, one of my customers, like, had a thing with him, so, like, you know, we just started sending them over there. And he's like, you're kidding me. And so then, like, next thing you know, he's paying his guy now $400 a week to be there all day long for eight hours to where he can smog cars for her. Yeah. So now he's two weeks behind on paying the guy, and he hasn't had any smog. And the guy's sitting there picking his ass, getting paid, basically, and like, here, grab this for me. So he has to let the guy go. 
basically the guy ends up the guy ends up not coming in because he got sick and he had to stay in Mexico. So she gave him an eviction notice since the guy didn't come in one day. And so she sent a smog over that day. And it had been there in two weeks. She hadn't sent him no smog. So then she gives him an eviction. So it, it was his third eviction notice because she keeps getting in a fight with him. And then she fucking goes, oh, no, no, it's okay, you know. And then she'll fucking give him a This time he's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gone. So he put all his shit. He couldn't find another place. He just put everything in a storage container down there. He took, I mean, all the work, his lifts. He paid 180 for the sign to be put up and then 300 for the sign and all this money into it and like maybe in two months when I get my thing straightened out he's going to rent a spot there and that's his stuff anybody messes with it besides Hector shoot him or something that, that truck? This, that's his too that, but that junk here in this corner oh, that's, that's his cool. yeah we're just going to keep it aside for him and whatever okay. but um so now you're clued in on that and that so and, and you're clued in too because you'll hear her out here bitching and moaning and whatever but if she says anything, we want to stay out of her spots. We want to keep her thing open. So these spots, those three, back, everything here is yours. <coughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. She can't fuck with that. No, that's ours. Okay. On, the, on the first, she wanted him out on the first one, the first. I'm all, Hector, no way, dude. I said, just tell her you have to be here. You have a couple extra days. Because she only gave him a week and a half. With the extra three days, it was two weeks. Two fucking weeks, and he ain't got nowhere to live, he ain't got nowhere to put all of his business, had to take all this, just just moving what he had there. That's the fucking, he took that pickup truck back and forth probably 50 times, and that one's so full of fucking thrash, he's sitting like that. Okay, so I got this here. Should I go get my notepad? Yes. I'm thinking next week could be the best thing. This week is going to be a royal, royal pain with the way everything's going down with the the big auction. How soon do you need something? What do you mean? How soon do you need to buy something? No, I don't, I don't need to buy anything soon. But I would love to go. You want to do it. So, like, yeah, maybe, like, it might be easier if we hit the one here first. That way you're able to... It's closer. We can just run down in the morning, maybe. But yeah. then again, it's so neat to do the bigger one that it's pitiful. Well, yeah. If if we if you want to do the bigger one, shit, fuck it. You gotta you gotta you gotta put in for your ankle bracelet um, update code to wear your woman. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try. Okay, you're gonna have to rewire all this. I'm just oh, kidding. I have no clue what is even in this. Holy shit! But um, if I could rewire all this, I'd be working in the wrong place. Man. I know, huh? I think um, I'm not gonna go any farther with it because of what it is but the problem is this is rebuilt and it's nice so that motor has to be cleaned off how much of this we can actually power wash i don't know this is straight electronics man um that's pretty sketchy it is um let's get it out and i will personally do some of this with the power washer um like over here, I can get the vacuum and suck out a bunch of the dust and stuff. It just ain't gonna do it on this, man. Hmm? It just ain't gonna do it on. Uh, I'll put a little water. I'm not afraid to put a little water. Okay. But a lot of water you would be a problem. To, like wipe everything down. Afterwards, I think afterwards. Okay. Because I can get a lot of that off to where it's just I want it to be as easy as I can for you also because that's not. I think we'll use some. So that's that's that. I'm gonna boosh boosh. If you have the power washer out, I'll boosh boosh this at some point. Um, no need to wipe anything down in here before we blow it out. But afterwards, stuff like this again to be cleaned. This left to be done with a brush and greaser all of it. Um, this we'll use some chrome polish on, and all that'll come right off and look good. Okay. Seats are gonna come amazing in this, just like we've done other seats. Mm -hmm. um, the important thing is for these to be polished up a bit. Not ultra important but really really easy to knock nice. some dust off oh yeah the seat belts the seats in this car are very nice okay. um i don't know anything you find out on this well you're, you're the man because oh wow what is that oh that's funny <laughs> that's what i was wondering and i think this does this yeah um is there a key in the ignition yeah. yeah. It should be a key that on it that goes to the back, maybe. So you have to get the same key? Is there more? No. no. Might be. Right. There's a whole stack of them. Yeah, I think it's a different one. Yeah, that's a double sided key, it looks like. So that one. 
we go. Very nice. This is real glass. Wow. Nice trunk space here. Wow, it, it would hold too. Okay, this comes out. And tighten this. <laughs> <laughs> You know what this is really cool for is being at like La Mesa when they're drinking beer and having the big car show. It'd just be totally cool for a little car show. This oh, new brakes. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's some pads right there, buddy. That. That's cool. Um, so basically, yes, this will end up being vacuums. Whoa, look at that. A fucking what? No shit. Yeah, because you charge it, you charge it out here. So he put that to where he has the AC power too, and he could run. You could run a toaster oven in here. You go down the road driving 45 miles an hour making toast. Fucking awesome. Or you could just plug your phone in and charge it. That too. It's not US. It's it's pre it's pre 90. It's pre 2000. So it's not um uh, USB compatible. Um, okay. So this is going to be general cleanup, and this thing is going to be one of your favorite things that you've ever buffed on. Oh man, it's gonna be hard as far as not blowing through it. Like this was blown through with a power washer by an idiot that I had. So be careful if you're, especially here, you see a crack like that. Just be careful. I'll show you. That's the most. I showed him. I said, hey, that's the most. Da -da -da -da. Boosh! But yeah, this is gonna buff out so nicely. Oh, man. I see all these little... You get a vagina on the front and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. So. This will be a wash today at some point. Um, okay. We're gonna do this motor with it running. Okay, time to do some work on the electric car. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Yeah, Hector stuff's over here. He is gone. Has moved on. We've been booted on. I guess however you want to say that. They stayed here. They had a trailer last night. Bring that power washer out here. We got power washer out here. Albert's here. He's doing pretty good. Little things like paying attention to exactly what I want done. Like I told him to get all this hooked up to when I came out next time I could just start power washing. Yeah. He makes lists of lots of stuff and does a lot of stuff right. You're never gonna get a hundred percent. That's for sure. Not at first. We've had some scheduling things. We're going to get it. He seems to be a pretty good helper. Look at that tire. We can go over here. Okay. So I got two full sets already. I got the... I got a... Uh, Three-eighths to one -third. Come on, dude. Pay attention to what you're doing here. Yeah. And, a uh, bigger set or a metric? Turn this on. And then a bigger set or a metric? Turn No, over there, you gotta turn the water on. Oh. Come on, dude. So up to half and then a bigger set or up to half and then a metric? And, and, well, now I'm, I'm starting with a small metric. I got four. Uh, four and a half to one third. Whoa! No, I've got no end. He did something to my end. My whole wand is fucked up. I don't understand. Ha! Ah, it's easier than I thought. It just clipped back on. I've never had that off. The whole collar was back. That's weird. Yeah, I know. Now,
He's a fickle bitch. Fourth time to charm. No, this guy should have fuel. Getting low or no? Somewhat. Sometimes on the first one, you gotta leave that choke out for a minute. There we go. Okay. Some kind of a plastic bag. Some kind of a plastic bag, yeah. Well, we shall see. I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, the only thing we really gonna care about covering up is the controller. on the other side. Yeah, grab another one. Well, we'll see right now. Yeah, open that, please. Okay, fuck it. I think I got it. I'm just going to go. Okay. Get a rag that we can dry up just a little bit. One of the ones off the counter. It don't matter if it's a little greasy or something. No, not, not so nice. Not so nice of one. Just kind of start drying the back of the seat over there. door panel quick and I'll do this one just a little quicker is anything dried out inside you can see even around the wires and take that bag off and anything there just dry it out you've got a couple rags okay. just dry as can be kind of suck if you can't have it running while we're doing it
Okay, I scrubbed half of that. Okay. Vacuum the cloth parts. You need, to, you need to have a cloth parts vacuum. I scrubbed half of that, but it looks pretty good. You have to touch it up and you go again, but it takes one chunk at a time because it's so hot, it dries out. Okay. But brushy brush and wipey wipe. Just make this thing look as good as you can, and then we're gonna do the same thing to the back seat and all this, but it's not important. In fact, that's not even important until we wash it. So I mean, you can go back to doing whatever. Just that's what it's going to take to finish that one. Do that one, and then you want me to go back to the tools, or do you want me to do the seats? Just leave all this, and we'll do all the seats together after we wash it. Okay. Um, that way you can just keep on going on it, type of thing. Okay. Bring that windshield washer stuff, and let's work on this for a while. Okay. I like to change this water. As often as possible. And uh, the green, just the windshield washing stuff. That too. That that too, though. Yeah, we'll need that too. And anytime you're doing this, pour some in. Pour it. You pour. I'll pour. Yeah. That's good. Um, if you could ring them out, I will start on this. And I guess we are pretty much, I don't know what else we need out here. Uh, brushes, they're all right here. Get the ones we need for the tires and stuff, I guess. And this thing ain't gonna take very long to wash. You know what, sweats make a lot more sense at six o'clock in the morning out here. It, just don't cut it now. Dude, at night it's cold, man. Oh, yeah. Like at 4:35 in the morning, especially right in that three to five. Oh man! And then I got an Arctic pack on my trailer. Arctic pack don't do shit, man. It, well, it's still cold. or whenever we're done, make sure that that thing's hanging out. Like, I'm going to use right now this for this. That. And with...
me see that real quick. Where'd it go? This thing will. It's so serious. You can see it shining up right there. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's crazy. It's actually just a little bit abrasive. So now think about that when doing a black car, maybe don't push so hard first off, you know what I mean? But it's actually just amazing how much of it. So yeah, just do that. Look at that difference. You can plainly tell. Oh yeah. Wait till you get the wax on this, buddy. Bring these two brushes right here and do this wheel. Okay. The, um, no, 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 don't use the same one. That's why you got two brushes.
Grab that wheel really good, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Turn white. Creamy. We could even water it down a bit more. It's just, I didn't spray any on there, so give it a quick spray. like I told him to. This is we're having to show it over and over and over. It gets, it gets old. That's what it gets. It gets freaking old. Okay, check this out. I don't know if I'll do a video the same, but maybe take a couple pictures. You didn't, you didn't wash it right. It didn't change like mine did. You didn't wash it hard enough. And you can tell if you go over it, I can make the white go away with my finger. So you weren't pushing hard enough with that sponge for future reference, or it'll come brighter and bluer. And it takes a little bit of getting. I mean, I bet you I could put a finger mark right in there. Just give it the an even pressure and it'll definitely come out a bit cleaner. But we're buffing it so we ought to be able to get a lot of it. Um, what's up? You you left early? What time? Uh, I took the kids to school. Oh, I came over maybe 8, 8.30 at night. You were gone. Yeah. I, I, I you guys need to be here tonight. Come back. Uh, thank you. Maybe it's good. Yeah, but maybe I get you to put my fuel pump on. Uh, yeah, when I come back, I'll put it on. Yeah, if you guys need, just come back tonight, whatever. Don't even gotta talk to me, just come and use it, do it. Running now? No. I'm not gonna make it run, it's too much. Just to buy batteries, it would cost me a lot. Yeah. But How many I, batteries? Uh, one, two, not a lot, huh? One, two, three, four, five? No, not a lot of five. Five's a lot, huh? Not charging, not charging by, by itself. Charge the battery like a like normal car. These batteries are like four or five years old. And he used them, so and the load it just it kills him. So I know these are dead, but I got good cores. I could get five batteries. He'd only charge me probably 55 for them. I think he charges 55 or 60, so 300 bucks. I already put the motor. That was 400 bucks. That's a cheap rebuild, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they rebuild the same one. And I, I told them I wanted it. They said they could do it for 350, and I wanted it to be a little hotter. And they said they could put different. I don't know if it's different clutches, different kind of wire. Yep. Yeah, different wire. <clears throat> they said it should be about 15% hotter, a little faster. Yeah. Which you can't go over. It says 55. I wouldn't want to go 55 on those tires. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, it's like a regular 55, and you pass years, you know, you can drive only 55. Right, if on the trailer, that's why I hate driving the trailer. 55. When I go to the auction, it's 55 all the way. Some of the truckers go 70 though. When I get behind one of them, I follow him. He's going on the big trucks. I like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Get a couple from over here. This is gonna look so nice. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So I got two, one close, one uh, from the back, but I think it's the whole body. Do that from up here, maybe, to where they can see the funky front end. And on this one, just be careful on corners and stuff because it'll blow through. 
Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that's gonna look nice. Dirt, son, yep. Gotta be careful on your corners here. I'm pushing pretty good and hard on this. I'm keeping it flat. When you come up to your corners, let up a little and roll them a bit to where you're not. I just don't push that hard on corners. Edges, whatever you want to call them. These come off in a little odd oh, manner so, sometimes. So right now it's the battery charging though? No. no. It will. They have um I have one on the back. See one? And see this hooks up to it. This hooks up to the solar panel. Oh. But somebody stole my panel. Over there? Yeah. What do they need it for? Is I don't know. These cars, I don't it, think nothing, it won't run a house or nothing. How many cars did I need? Not many. It had two of these, so it was double wide here. And with all three... Oh, another panel right Yeah. Here. Oh, shit. So it'll recharge a little bit. What, well, see, yeah, he's got this on his inside. The wires are up here. Oh, they all they, 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 they together. Oh, the panels together. Funny, the fucking So like I said, this one's going to be fun. Because it looks new, man. Um, now you can see I'm getting some swirl marks. Oops, sorry. And it's because of the way I'm pushing. And it's also because of... Oh, yeah. How are you gonna, not going to get swirl marks? Do you see how it is now? It's, it's, it's faded in patches. Yeah. So you're only going to get what you get. Oh, well, maybe these would... Uh, that might be another one, huh? Signal. <laughs> it could be, huh? It looks like it. Maybe, you know, sometimes they, they separate, separate. Like maybe that one to run the motor, maybe this one to light. Oh yeah, two more. Oh shit. So two, four, six, seven batteries. Fucking so many batteries. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna pay 60 times seven. Yeah, 60 times seven, oh shit, no. But that would be all it is. I mean, geez, I guess then it would run. Oh yeah. I mean, if you put all, all, all together, it's, I mean, 55 miles is fucking nice. So basically I'll do this and I'll do this simply because I want to get a um, video of it. Don't do that much. I put just way too much out. Take a video? Um, no, I want you to take them. This car like they this. don't know and they can't see it. Yeah, and they all fucking know. You know, it's way different. Way different. Yeah. <laughs> I mix it, it's really good. Just be careful around this area as you can see where that's really close. <laughs> I looked over there, it was empty. It was empty. It comes in spurts, but yeah, she's got plenty of parking spots now. It's a screwdriver. So just plan on stuff like this. You might have to do some by hand around it. It's working out pretty good right now. And where the problem's gonna come in is here. No, it's fine. As long as you just hold it up away from it. 
was actually able to get it all. See, this is our thumbnail for the video right here, buddy. 50-50. And this, don't worry about it. Some of it's gonna come off. It happened here too. That'll be the hardest part. Whatever you have to do by hand, it's not easy. Put your finger into it. Like really, exactly, 100%, and that's where I just, that's my area I'm done with. I won't go no farther than that. This, I will, because I can see right where the thing is. But that's about it. God! Did I miss that? I did, huh? A little bit, it's all right. No, I'll get it. No, that piece. Where the hell you got right there? Oh no. This one you can pretty try and push it This one? I don't know that wheel's locked up. I'm gonna take it off tonight and look. I think it's got um bad brakes. Oh. I think they're locking up. Oh, they sit for a while as well. Yeah. Um, Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, oh, I gotta go get her. Wow, it literally is blue. <laughs> we might have to do a little bit by hand over it because there will be some swirls. It's just hard not to. God, it's such a it's such a cool blue too. Yeah. I want a new car in blue like that, like that. That would be nice. With white wheels. White. Paint the wheels white, paint the car blue. It's a boy's car. <laughs> Get my woman one that's pink with white wheels. Oh, that was, it's a girl. It's a girl. I'm going to add into this video just a little bit here. Plastic, vinyl, stickers, things that are on. I'm putting a little bit of extra wax on it, or polish, but it is going to come off partially. Don't worry about that. Just be light on it. These things, you don't want to paint them or restore them. You want to give the exact original look the best you can. And I'm just barely gliding over this. And then I'll come back and put a little bit of pressure. And you can hear the, you can hear that buffer, right, Albert? You can hear it grind down when I give it a little pressure. And just nicely do it. Honestly, Albert was going to take this back, but I have so much fun. It's honestly hard for me to give this back to him right now. No, he's looking for the rag. So yeah, just kind of go over it like that. And don't have it. Actually, that looks better than what I thought it was going to look like. I honestly thought it was going to look better. A lot of it might. Like when you get back in here, yeah. you might lose a lot of this color. It might go away completely in the middle. Just glide it over it. And as you glide it over it, you'll see what it's doing. And then you can bear into it a little bit on the second time around. Okay. But I didn't finish up in here. So, you know, in these kind of areas, that'll just tear your pad up. If you, yeah. it, your pad might go at some point. If it does, tell me. We've got more. We'll use them. Okay. Oh. So are you going to be working at your buddy's place or what? Yeah, I'm 
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I got stuff working. Uh, we got a lot of work, so. But fucking, I, <clears throat> I tear out the, the motor from the Honda 2013. Yeah. And I fucking missing one part from the motor. So I'm gonna look in the truck. And see oh, it's somewhere I'm over here or something. I don't know where. It's. Oh jeez. I find everything except that one because this morning. Oh I man. I put it back together. I put a piston. I put a crankshaft. Everything. And I'm fucking. I, I'm missing that part. And I, I don't know why, I don't understand why everything is over, you know, everything is over there except that shit. This morning, my dad came to pick up his truck, so I took everything out of the truck. Oh, the, oh. In the trailer? He came and picked it up with his buddy. So I took everything, I took my computer controller, I had my phone, I took everything and I just, my tool set, I like my tool set, I put everything in a bag, my shoes, and I set it on the back, and then I moved my ultimate, my infinity, and he left. With the shoes right? Oh, I, I parked the car, I came back and I realized and I went, oh my God. So I ran out and I ran all the way over there, all the way to that part, I didn't see it. I ran back, got my car, drove all the way down two exits, I didn't see it. I stopped at a liquor store right over there where I buy cigarettes and I used his phone and I used, called him up. He made it all the way to Spring Valley. Lost, shoes? lost everything except for my phone. Blows? Everything is gone. Except for the phone, the phone stayed, which was the most important. The phone and because this, it's just it just fell and it was little. Yeah, the air and the my phone. shoes were gone. I had a phone, a charger, and a vape pen. That's it. But it was on there. So I'm, at least I've got my phone. But my phone is my internet and everything. So he was gone for like two hours. I had no phone, no internet, no nothing. All I had was McDonald's. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, now I want to make also a note of pads. Ladies, <laughs> don't be funny like that. Okay, so pads. I've had people say, oh, you're a douche. You've got all kinds of color coming up on your pad. Look at the holograms and this and that. This is very, very, extremely, very, very, extremely, very dry paint. That's all there is to say about it. There's no undryness and he's got stuff sitting on it now that just for the hell of it, I'm gonna smear while I'm talking to where we don't get some kind of bleed through. But you will get color on your paint. This is not a base coat, clear coat type of thing. This is most likely a very single stage, old, maybe even acrylic. Um, but it's definitely good paint. It's lasted all these years. It's original paint. But don't worry about bleed off coming through. The only time you should worry about paint coming off on your pads is when you're seeing metal or straight fiberglass and you're run with all the paint off. Some of it is going to come off simply because it's old paint. Go ahead. And Albert's been, this is his second one on this, and I'll tell you what, it's not like it's rocket science, it's just a matter of being aware and watching what you're doing and not rubbing all the paint off. And somebody who is going to pay attention and look at what they're doing can easily use one of these buffers. You don't need to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get it done. And if you're selling your car, you've got brain problems if you don't clean your car up before you sell it. I see so many dirty cars, I buy. So many dirty cars, as a matter of fact, about 65% of the trash you always see into that trailer is from the cars that come in. And I don't care, I love throwing away people's garbage. I like buying dirty cars. If you've seen Jason's Denali yesterday, he bought the cleanest Denali on the block. It's clean as can be. And I do buy clean stuff sometimes, but I like cleaning stuff up a little bit. Okay, well that's it. You can tell on this side, what we were dealing with. It's very splotchy and all that kind of stuff. Stuff like this, you're gonna have a little dry spot there. That's just what you're dealing with. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're stuck with what you're stuck with when you're done. But look at what you got, it's beautiful. There'll be a couple smear marks. We'll wash this thing again. We'll get all the wax off and we'll do a little bit of hand blending, I guess you'd say. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. We'll clip more in in a while. Really a good friend with him. So, so he's why she mad because she, it's so, they talk too much. I'll call you back. Because they talk together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they talking shit about me, so yeah. I don't want to fucking, I don't want him here. He doesn't, he's he brother? doesn't like her. He doesn't, you know, he's you know the other, the other, uh, uh hand brother? The, the, remember, I don't know if you see the guy with the, with the trailer, the black truck with the trailer. Sometimes he come over and, and drop the cars over here. He Ooh. always just drop the cars over here, like trailer, like your trailer. And uh -huh. I, I think I might know who you mean. And, and so she kicked him out of here because he don't. Because 
He, she says, the guy come over and fucking he say, he not even fucking say, hi, good morning. Because he didn't say hi to her? Yeah. She, 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 she told me I, I don't want to hang here. <laughs> I said, why? Because fucking it, he ignoring me. <laughs> well, he brought, he brought the car for me, not for you. <laughs> yeah, but why he don't fucking say, hey, uh, you know, uh, hi, or say uh, whatever, uh, hello, whatever. So, he, so you can only have your cars there for one week and she has to approve of who brings them. Right? And, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. Plus, plus the cars have, have to have a current registration. Oh, they have to have current registration now, too. I swear to God. And insurance. And insurance. I swear to God. <laughs> she wrote in a stupid paper. That's ridiculous. I fucking throw away with Half of the cars out. that people work on don't have registration. That's why they're working on them is to get it. And, on, and I don't give a fuck if they did. I'm not going to no. ask you. No. Hey, I can do your work. <laughs> oh, stupid. Oh, you don't, have the, you, don't have, you don't have insurance? No, I don't want it. I don't want car here. That's a fight. That just sucks. No, it, she just want me to go. It's why, it's, you know, I think it is why she she throwing too, too much shit on it. And because she want me to go. I'm trying to remember what she had there. What did she have there when you moved in? There was nothing there. It was empty. Oh yeah, some uh, she, some tools and she sell it to me. Oh, some of Tommy's tools. Yeah, the the, the hoy. Yeah. She sell it to me. The grinder, she, the, the, she, a bunch of crap. And she she sell it to me. And, uh, and a lot of well, it was a lot of stuff. They sell it to somebody else too. They were out of one and she sell it to somebody else. So I guess it it was just straight from Tommy to you. Wow. Yeah. See, I ran into him at Walmart. Oh God, he was mad. He he still hates her guts, cussing and pissed off and. Cause she got his tow truck too. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I remember I saw the truck over here. Fucking good tow truck. Nice tow truck. I used to have one. Problem is, is then I end up doing more and more and more of that. And then somebody will ask me, hey, can you give me a tow? I have two cars. Oh yeah, you know, give me 80 bucks or something. And then I'll go do that. Now I've got a full-time job and I'm yeah. a tow truck driver. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, that is the problem. But I do like home. The trailer for one car to go to the auction. I don't know, if I go to LA in the Infinity, 80. 80 miles an hour the whole way. Everybody goes 80. Yeah. If I go in the truck, I only go about 60 the whole way. It takes a lot longer. Yeah. Well, it really does. And then you got to load up, unload. If you don't have a blowout, I can hire somebody for hundred dollars to just haul my car down. Yeah. yeah. The it's not what worth it. You don't buy nothing. That's that, that's exactly. And that's where it. But it makes me want to. So like, I'm at the auction and I'm bidding and I don't get what I want and I'm like, well. I brought the trailer, so I should There's buy something. Buy. <laughs> yeah, no, right, so I make myself. Yeah. So I think it's better to not have it. Because I had a before I had my trailer in my truck, mm -hmm. and I do I buy uh, cars in LA, and I have a friend, the, the guy who who the announcer of the cars, and uh, and uh, and he owed uh, uh, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200. He sold. He sold it fast to you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I've got a vendor there too. Yeah, but, but we. I give you when you give him a little bit extra give extra money to him but in person you know when yeah he, exactly okay fifty dollars uh, so so I say I, I oh, this one uh, oh, I like that one I say oh one hundred uh, two hundred two hundred fifty two hundred uh, so then she here and the people hey, hey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's already on to the next one yeah <laughs> it's fast it, yeah they, 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 no but the people hey, yeah they're 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 gonna 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 <laughs> so and then and then and, and every every weekend I just go to LA. I, I, probably, I take like two, two or three chauffeurs to drive the cars and I take Driving my back. trailer. Yeah, and I bring the one, I hang you one, and, I, and I, they bring it, I buy lunch and everything, and they fucking, they, they, they help, they help come back with the cars, and fucking, I can really, two, three hundred bucks, a nice car, you know? But I don't fucking, I, every week I go over there and the people, hey! <laughs> because uh, the fucking guy, he said, two, three hundred, two, two, fifty, two, so, just like that, man, like that week, you know? Funny, man. Hang on a sec. Yeah. Hey, let me know if you need anything. And like, I'm serious, guys, just come back tonight, whatever. I got, you know, come and stay. But it wouldn't, until he leaves, if, if he comes to, if he comes to get it before you come back, I mean, no, but he ain't coming for like a week or something, so we should be good. Yeah, I hope I, hope I find one. one uh, I'll tell you, you can put my fuel pump on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got all the parts. Um, and then, ooh, this will be the answer. Hey, did you find out on the um, guest pass yet? Um, I tried to call back and it was busy, so I figured I'd call you really quick. Okay. Did you do this by hand? Yeah, I had to. So you I did, you really can get this going. Yeah, you can. Right there? Okay, yeah. 
Well, I just make. That's what I'm asking. Is you haven't done this yet? Oh no no. But no. you did do this by hand, huh? Yes. I'm so doing this is going to look like this. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Did you do this? No. You didn't buff this? Wait. Yeah, I did actually. Okay. I did buff that. Yeah. It's down here. Do it's a little bit right here by hand, real quick. Just a little bit like you've been doing. Oh, that was behind the plate. That's it. Boom. I got it. I understand now. I was wondering why this wasn't looking like this. I'm like, my God, that looks awesome. But it was under the plate. Yeah. Hey! Okay. Um. So the plate, if you knock, I leave it off right No, put it back on. And go make sure you hit this stuff too. Wow, that almost comes off with the finger. God, that's good. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. You gonna go take lunch or go get lunch or go get anything to eat or something or what? I'm probably just gonna run to the store real quick and grab a bite of the thing. Uh, I'm gonna be out for that. Yeah, whenever you're gonna do it, whenever you want. Just okay. give her a call whenever. Okay. Right here, where did you say right here? Well, wherever you see, like that piece there. I think I buffed that, but I think I rubbed it with this and I think it got all cloudy. You might have to wash it and then do little pieces again. Whatever it is, it's it's ninety percent there. It's getting. So have you got stuff up in here yet and everything? Have you touched up all this? I, I, I uh, hand detailed this. Did this just won't come anymore. No. I rubbed the shit out of it. Okay, that. some of that's gonna come off because it's just stuff that's ingrained into it. Oh, that's... Maybe I should buff that. You didn't buff that? No, I did it by hand. Oh yeah, that should definitely be buffed anywhere you can reach. Because there's a lot that's going to come off because it is open there. I, just, I didn't want to buff this. Yeah, I got you. Just get as close I'll as you that. can. And now that you're done, now that you're done, it don't matter as much if you tear that up a little bit besides just watching your, not getting something thrown in your eyes. Now it's okay. We're pretty, we're, let me see the pad. How bad did it get? Let me make a video. Okay, Glass. Record a video. Okay, so this is what we got with the pad. A little bit chewed up on the edges. You can still detail our art with this. Once you get everything done, a guy can come around and start hitting up your areas like this, different places that weren't hit, just lightly. And that is actually gonna be throwing some black around, probably from the window. Oh, it was touching a little bit. I don't know if I wanna to touch this to it. Yeah, it does it. Oh. Okay, this will have to be washed off really good. Yeah, and it'll wash off. Saying. Yeah, you got this all over the pad. No, no, no. It's from the windows. I'm telling you, I did a window and then I went. I, I, I had to test something up like this. And it was completely black. I was like, shit. So look, this is what I did. Don't do that. Brush most of it off. Don't do that. If, it, if anything, you can do this. But it's not going to get it all off at this point. That's, that's still pretty good. Um, it will clean it a bit. Um, yeah, the vinyl on the sides is all over it too. Okay, that's good. Yeah, just the little spots that you see because it's like that's going to stand out a lot in between the light. It takes a lot of hand work. But go, yeah, go get lunch whenever you need to and stuff and it's sounding good to me. Um, and let's leave this, open that door if you could. Do you speak Spanish? Somewhat. Somewhat? Wow. I wish I did better. I had a Spanish girlfriend in high school and I cheated my way through. But like I had a guy yesterday up at the yard and I say he spoke Spanglish to me because he comes up 
The guy must have told him my name that I know, because he goes, what a Nathan. Perfect my name almost. But it's like I'm like, dude, 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 I don't speak it. Oh, you don't speak you don't speak Spanish? Oh <laughs> I wish, man. I am just gouging myself up. I'm bleeding out of every orifice I have. They're not orifices, I've made new ones. I've cut myself up so bad. The biggest thing on that is hitting it six ways. Yeah. With that grease. Well, I mean, basically, zinc, though. Look at, like, look at my hand. Make sure and go that way, that way, that way, that way. I guess it's eight ways. Because you gotta get every grain. Right. But still, it might not come out. From there, yeah, we will just spray it down a little bit or wipe it down. Just make sure and get the dash looking as good as you can and all that same thing you're doing, yeah. And a uh, little brush on the pedals and stuff to where that looks good. The paint going up, we'll have to wipe all the little hoses and stuff. That little rubber knob should be looking perfect with the degreaser. Just little detail type stuff. It's just such a cool little car. Somebody really wants this. If you lived in OB or PB, this would be so cool just to kind of cruise around, you know. I guarantee you get pulled over though. They'd want to see if it was legal or something. They just want to bullshit with you about it. Oh man, with that sun hitting it? Oh lord. Yeah. When you come around that corner, it just so that's the picture right there. Um get the buffer if you would. You know, stuff like I don't like that motherfucker. <laughs> he got back when YouTube did the next up thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. They made this thing to where, hey, we'll um, we'll help you. We'll give you. Oh, it's that. Yeah. We'll give you a um, hundred grand to where you can build your channel and this and that, and you're gonna be big time. And we'll help out. We're gonna help out a hundred creators. Well, lo and behold. Jay Leno gets one of them channels. Are you fucking like he fucking needs a hundred grand to build it. He already had the cars. All he had to do is start making videos and he already beat all of us. Yeah. Fuck that. That's bullshit. <laughs> kind of made me mad. I like Jay Leno, but when you go to do that, it's like, come on, dude. Why even take the money? You're so fucking rich. And... I would just say, okay, just give me the channel. I don't need that hundred fucking grand. Right? I'm going to be involved, do this, promote me, whatever, but give my, give my hundred grand to somebody else. He didn't need it. It's like he has fucking 20 million worth of cars. No, he's got way more than that worth of cars. Dude, but he's got 100 million worth of cars. Insane amount of He has one of the first uh, Bugattis. That's cool. That were ever made. You know? Oh, really cool.
own a car guy. One on a car guy .com. Making some more video on the electric car. Yeehaw! It's windy, so I'm trying to talk over it. But you know what? I'm kind of lost on how I detail this thing. Like, I'm figuring out I got to do the fender wells and stuff. But the problem is, it really ain't got the same kind of motor and everything. And I've never detailed. Well, I popped the hood. I didn't have to do an engine detail. It is a whole different kind of thing. Um, so, just whatever, different cars, different strokes, different things. Um, it's a neat little car though, and it's going to be fun to have for sale. It's fun to have people make fun of. Honestly, kids love this car. Hector's kids from next door, they just start talking away. I don't understand a damn word they're saying. I just, it's just like, I wish I did, but uh, they just love it. He told me, he, he told me, I said, what are they saying, dude? He told me a little bit of it. They just think it's so cool. It's the door of the Explorer car or something. Okay, cool. We got it going on now. Thanks for watching. I'll clip my look at how nice and smooth here. I'm gonna give you a good close up. <whistles> Even this kind of stuff, you don't want to try and put new decals or try and take them off. Leave it factory. That way people can see, hey, you haven't screwed with it, you haven't messed it all up, you're not hiding anything. It's just a hundred percent. This is what you're selling. Clip more in a while. Okay, Albert was plugging away in here. And now we got some definite, oh, that's my problem with my brakes. It's gonna need a new master cylinder or there's no brake fluid and it locked up because it's not even pumping now. So that is the, that is the brake, the stoplight, it's a stoplight switch. Oh, okay. So basically, I'm going to bend this back out. Somehow it must have got touched, but it is not bending out. We didn't hook up any wires. Did you hook up any wires? Nope. Maybe we turned the switch. There we go. And only down. So it's a cross between the... Is that a... Is that the blinker? Yeah, that's the blinkers. So it's not this one. Is there anything that looks hooked up? Uh, uh, it, this might be. Uh, I don't think so because it's missing one of it's missing a negative, but the okay, positive. So the positive up. goes. Then we look at the front. That's unhooked. This is hooked up to one and a half, not two. So this is hooked up. So I guarantee you, you've got one battery and the fucking thing is solar charging the battery. You know what? It, it's probably because it's, it's only hooked up halfway. It's only doing one blinker because if you do the left blinker, it makes a sound. If you do the right blinker, yeah, but no sound. Is there any sound? No? No. no. It's not going to. I hooked it up just there. Oh, okay. It'll, it'll do them all. It's just got a little bit of juice. It's sucking it from the solar. Because there's no way after three years of having any juice, it's got to be dead. And this one's not even hooked up. Guaranteed this thing would start running pretty easy. There ain't much to do to it. It'd be a fun project. I wish I had more time. If you brush that before you vacuum it, it always makes for a better job. For the carpet? Yeah. Okay, I had an idea. Maybe not this one. Not one. Can you help me real quick? Yeah. Just hold that right anywhere where my hand is. It's not that heavy or nothing. Just get a bright blade and saws all that thing right across there. Screw this right into it. Honestly, this kind of color is what? Old fashioned color, too. I think this is It'd just be kind of, it's just too long, but still it'd be kind of, it's light. It's not going to add much weight. I've got an extra one at the other yard. This one's worth a couple hundred bucks, but it's about the right width. That's a nice wheel too. I got lots of nice wheels. 
You should call me Mr. Nice Wheel. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. That car is coming along. The breeder dog is going outside. Here you go, baby. Here you go, get you a little bit of sun. He's asking about a panel. I think I know what he means. Look at that, look how good it's looking inside. Them seats look that, good. Does that look like a 70s car? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, huh? That thing it's okay. You talking around this thing? No, 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 this. Oh. I'm wondering, because this was originally black, right? Yeah. Well, I looked at a picture too, and one of our problems with this car. Can you swap me out here? Yeah. It actually looks awful online. This right here is the worst piece on the car. Yeah, it's fine though. It's, it's got to be done. I'll show you. Um, I'm going to post some pictures and you'll see. And it'll kind of tell you a lot about. So like that tells me a lot about why some of the runs didn't come out for you. They just don't come out. But along that line, man. It looks pretty good. The other side I don't know about. Kind of give it both in the middle and I'll put my back into this. You ready? Yeah. Just be careful, that part we don't want to crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather the bumper crack. <laughs> don't slip, it's gonna get slippery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I almost come on my sandal, that's how I knew. Okay, for right now, we're gonna leave it here. Okay. That gets us out of the dip and we can see what we're working with, which is an entirely different car than we was working with this morning. That thing does not look like it's from the 70s. It kind of looks like something George Jetson would have. Exactly. <laughs> oh, there was one in, um, one of my subscribers told me, um, Total Recall. He said right in the scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger pulls the thing out of his nose. There's one oh, of these. Oh, the old Total Recall. Yeah, oh yeah, they made a new one, that's yeah. right. He was made in like 2014 or something. Uh-oh. Well, we didn't hit it with the power washer very good, so a degreaser will work across it. Okay. I thought I got everything. We just did around the windows and didn't get that. You could tell we hit it in a little bit. Um, and then probably, let's see what that stuff, I'll bet you. Yeah, that'll work. We'll just have to <clears throat> get a spray bottle with this stuff in it only. And all that'll have to be washed with paper towels and that. So what is this? That's the final stuff. Oh, okay. There's too much dust on that top. You wanna hit it with this first and then that? Hit it with the, well, the, the main thing I said there was paper towels. Okay. Make sure, cause the, Basically, you've got to get the dust and dirt off, or it's just going to make smear marks. Okay. 
what somebody needs to know. It's easy to tell if it's a manual automatic. I show it, you can tell when I'm driving it. I know. And I tried to tell him and he was a nice guy, but So I'm whatever. Gonna... So whatever. Yeah. If he's a nice guy, maybe he's interested in the four speed W one fourteen one fifteen blue one. And or might yeah. and or might be buying it. I don't know. Um Hang on one sec. Don't miss this piece. Don't miss that piece. Yeah. Um, so if Ander buys it, I don't have it, but Ander is asked the Facebook price I put on there. So people who do follow me on Facebook will see the cheap prices when I throw them up real quick. So he did see that, and I do feel bad about his little six, seven-month ordeal there. So I sent him a message, and I told him that I just want to make sure that it gets followed through on this time if we're doing something, that I don't want it to be left in a lurch like last time. Yes, sir. The thing is, the fiberglass and everything is so thin on this, I don't want no part of unscrewing Jack Diddley squat. We'll crack it or something stupid. Do you know, I didn't even know who did it until like I read a review. Yeah. You ever watch Tosh.0 or whatever? Yeah. So you know who that is? Daniel Tosh, yeah. Yeah. So he's YouTube man or whatever and he's got his show thing. But now he's got a show on um, Netflix, and it's not him, it's animation, kind of like Family Guy or something. And it's called Brickleberry. Have you, it's kind of cool. It's kind of adult, maybe a little bit. It's not for kids, for sure. Like, Family like Guy. maybe a little bit worse than Family Guy. Really? <laughs> yeah, they kind of bleep some stuff and say mostly like sexual jokes. But it's not bad, it's just kind of sexual. There you go, that's what it is. Family Guy is pretty fucking bad. Yes, yeah, true. I haven't watched it, it's got worse too. Oh man. Yeah, I guess it's if you it's, gotta watch some of the recent shit. It's probably about the same as South Park, so if, if it's as dirty as South Park. It's worse than South Park. Actually that was a thing about that, that's the last movie I seen in the theater. South Park? Yeah, no one. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Yeah, just wrap it up over it. Yep. That's pretty fucking it. Now, what about the panel? You don't care about the panel? I'm gonna do something to it, too. Okay. I don't know what yet. It won't be as intricate. If this wasn't all ripped up, I wouldn't have put the whole piece, probably. Okay, the big question is, what happened last to this? Did it get waxed or did it get degreased? What? That piece of metal. I degreased it. You I degreased it? Yeah, really? Yeah, okay, no, no, I, I believe you. Hit it with the you wanna do it again? No, no, that's good.
All right, so I'm pretty much done. Okay. What? There they are. Um, if you are out, like, let's put some of these things back in real quick. Okay. The bug and the shampoo. Yeah, all this stuff will get discolored. Yes, kind of. We got to get a couple things put up for sure. I'm gonna unplug it and everything from off the hose. Yes. Okay. That's the main thing to where we don't get um, the rusted out the pump. And from her end, I'm having problems with that, but from her end on Friday, the computer crashed and she's got all my taxes on it. So she's running around freaking out trying to get that done. I'm not too confident in this, bro, but we'll see. If you go any more than that at one time, yeah, you leave it. If you go any more than that at one time, it'll run. And you want it to get tacky. You want the dry first? About that much. Oh, okay. You just want it to have tacks in between coats. Just put some air in there. And you won't get any run, well, it'd be harder to get runs. But if you do that, two to four times, it'll make, ah, oh, don't do that. Didn't hit it, thank God. It's definitely worth the time. Cause Oh yeah, that, we just couldn't take it off. And I didn't know if I wanted to tape it. And when I seen the tape slide down through it, that's the end of the story. It's worth doing. Yeah. I'd love to do this whole thing. It's just, I got too much shit right now. You could honestly spray can this and make an awesome job out of it, the whole car. Really? Oh man. I got the tools we could do with the real stuff though. Now we're talking, we can waste all kinds of time. <laughs> Put my on the detailer, oh yeah, man. Engine degreaser. Okay, engine degreaser, yep. Sales You're gonna need a LinkedIn account for that kind of shit. <laughs> oh man! Nothing. Nothing. Look at, watch it roll off of there. Ooh, look like brand new when it rolls off. Damn it. Some pretty awesome fucking paint, I mean, uh, taping. Come on now. <laughs> I think you did a better job taping than painting. Could may have been, huh? Ooh, that's not good. Perfect. Like a Christmas present, right?
He really, really does. Can you give me a, actually? That's pretty good. Okay. 10 minutes, 15 max, huh? Not even that. It probably took me like, at the most 10 minutes to put everything back in the truck. Dirty South. Any of your paint, you can just overspray. You can get it off with my wonderful stuff here. All right, everything. Before you actually walk out the door, help me. I'm done here. We don't need nothing else with this. Help me push this back about. We ain't gonna hit that cord. <laughs> they worry because we can get stuck on it. I'm gonna crank it a bit. <laughs> That's a pretty big dip for it. <laughs> Okay. Good? Yeah, that'll make it nice. It's perfect. No, this is... I'll picture it right here. I'm going to get my camera because that's cool. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, let me know whatever time. All right, I'll call you. Talk to you then, Albert. Bye, thank you.